Philip Schofield has become one of the most recognizable faces on British television after becoming a lead presenter on This Morning in 2002. The fallen host has since stepped down from his role on ITV after he admitted he lied about his relationship with a young male colleague and revealed the pair had a brief affair. The broadcaster admitted he is terrified to leave his home amid fears of the reaction he could potentially receive from the public. Philip, 61, has shared his story in two interviews including with BBC's broadcaster Amol Rajan but also gave details about his current woes with the sun. He told the publication, I do not know a time I will be able to walk out of the door. The presenter has also insisted he will no longer use his social media accounts again. Phil has admittedly become a recluse and no longer feels comfortable about leaving his home, adding he can no longer just pop down the road and go to the supermarket to purchase milk. He continued to the sun, I do not know a time I will be able to walk out of the door. I don't have any spirit. My friends tell me, it will get better. It won't. Not now. Not this one. Don't miss. Dan Walker fears this morning acts as people are on edge over Schofield scandal. Latest, Philip Schofield's turmoil as Hess stopped eating after a fair news. Admission, Carol McGiffin claims Philip Schofield is taking fall for ITV. TV. The presenter added he deserved it saying the fallout was all his own fault. Phil has chosen to now stay out of the public eye from a fear of how people will react to him. He questioned, are they spitting on me because I had an affair at work and lied about it? Speaking to the BBC's Amol Rajan, he appeared exhausted and distressed during the interview. The TV presenter spoke quietly as he said he was desperately sorry and revealed he had experienced suicidal thoughts in recent days. Schofield said he feels he has been a victim of hate and false rumors, and told the BBC he had received private support from some colleagues and media figures who believe he has been unfairly treated. He added, one very prominent public figure phoned me the other day and said I wanted to check that you were okay, I have never seen such homophobia in my life. Schofield explained his first romantic encounter with his colleague took place in his dressing room, adding there were only five or six such encounters in total between the pair over a few months.